Throw it down the toilet and you will never be in lack again. You will never be in problems again. You will never be entangled in any difficult situation again. Just throw this down the toilet and see what happens. This prayer is very effective. A very simple form of prayer. You can do this any time of the day. All you need is to just get a quiet place in your house. Somewhere quiet. Quiet and with no disturbance. Just get a sheet of paper. Begin to write down everything, every problem you notice in your house. When I say your house, I'm not talking about the building or the walls. No, I'm talking about the people living in the house, making up the home, your children, your husband, your wife, your family members, all of them living together. What is the major problem in your house? What is that your husband's major problem, your wife's major problem, your children? It could be financial, it could be health issues, it could be rejection, it could be anger. Maybe you have a child who is so much like hot when it comes to temperaments. Or you have a partner who is so hot when it comes to temperament. They are so hot, they are so unbearing. In fact, zero tolerance. And because of that, there is no peace in the house. You are always having issues. Your marriage is about to break up. Or maybe you as a person, you have been single for a long time. You are praying for a life partner and you have not gotten that person. Yes, that you will say, okay, I want to get married to the people coming your way. They are just jerk. This is one thing the devil does. When you are looking for a life partner, he brings you jerk to distract you from the main person that God has assigned for you. You know what your problem is. Don't just rush it. Write down all your problems. Think about it. You can even take up to two days to think about it. Because there are many people, you might feel that this is your major problem, but you have other pressing problems. Write down all your problems, all your mother's problems, all your father's problems, all your family members. They are major problems. I know they might have problems that you are not aware of, but there are some you know. Maybe you have a sibling who is old enough to get married, they are still single, or maybe they are looking for children, you know that they don't have a child and they are married, of course. Or maybe you have anybody around you who is poor, who is struggling financially, searching for a job or any other thing. Write down this thing. They must not be living in the same house with you as far as they are related to you. It's okay. Even if they are not related, it's still okay. But it works perfectly if they are related because when you are trying to throw away someone's problem, you don't know if they are okay with it. Because one thing you might think that it is a person's problem might not be their problem. You might see a couple, they have been married for three years. You might think it is a problem for them that they don't have children. Maybe they are the ones that intentionally do not want to have children. Maybe they want to work on their finance. They want to like establish their goal or work on something first. Yes, there are some couples that will tell you, I want to work on something first. But now we don't want children. So if you are there praying for that couple, throwing away their problem, it's going to be there because they are not in agreement with you. So if you are asking God to remove this problem from somebody, if they actually want that problem to go, that is when it will work. I hope you understand this. To so make sure that you are in agreement. So write down all the problems on a sheet of paper. Go down on your knees, hold it, and tell God that you don't want it in your house again. You want sickness to leave your house. You want failure to leave your house. Begin to pray as you hold that sheet of paper. You are praying to God. Oh Lord, I delete these problems from my life. I reject it. All the problems you are written down, all the things you are going through, maybe poverty for yourself, you are always struggling, nothing is working well for you, you are always in debt, your business, you don't get patronage, you don't get results. Your labor does not pay off. Open your mouth and tell God as you are holding that. Tell God to remove it from your life. Tell God to delete it from your life. As you are praying like that, in the name of Jesus, don't forget, as you are praying in the name of Jesus, everything is in the power of Jesus Christ, power of God. But also remember that at the back of every problem, there is the devil. So one major way to delete problems from your life is to delete yourselves from the devil. If the devil still remains in your life, problems are short. So one thing you should also do as you are doing this, is to give your life to Christ, is to repent from every sin, is to rededicate your life to God, abstain from sin, do what is right. And if you make a mistake, 
trying. You can apologize to God, but make sure you try hard. Don't just say because you want to ask God for forgiveness, you're not going to like. No, don't play with God. Do your part to stay away from sin because when you are staying away from sin, you are staying away from the devil, from the evil ones, and God will help you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. So when you are done, you drop that paper that you have written in Psalm 35. Yes, let God arrest every demons behind that problem. And before you drop it in that psalm, make sure you read that Psalm 35. Make sure you read it. You read the whole of Psalm 35 from verse 1 to the ending, and you pray with it. Tell God to remove every devil, every demon, backing up that problem. For every problem, there is a demon behind it. I know you will tell me it's God's time, but devil always like bring himself in. That's the truth. To prolong that problem. So that you will always be in that problem. The devil enjoys your pain. He enjoys difficult situations. Where there is problem, the devil is happy. Where there is happiness and joy, the devil is sad. Do this and God will bring sadness to the devil. Even without this, you can still pray to God. Just go down your knees and just pray to God's strength. It's okay, but this is also okay. As you drop this in Psalm 35, as you read that psalm, you pray with it. You drop it as you are dropping it. Tell God, oh Lord, as I drop this problem, I drop everything on you. You have told me to lay my bodies on you, to bring all my troubles to you. Oh Lord, I lay my bodies on you. As I drop my problem on this scripture, every demon, every force of darkness, every evil hand behind this problem, oh Lord, scatter them in Jesus' name. Scatter them in Jesus' name. Scatter them. Remove every evil hand from my head. Every demon, every force of darkness, every evil weapon, every evil manipulation causing these problems in my life. Oh Lord, silence the enemies and deliver me in Jesus' name. Amen. And you keep it in Psalm 35 for just one day. The next day, you take it on your toilet, you tear it and flush it out. That's the truth. And as you are doing that, you can still be praying. Oh Lord, as I flush this out, I flush out sickness, I flush out disappointment, I flush out barrenness, I flush out this problem. Let them go and go and go away in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. May God bless you.